We're going to look at Moodle admin hint number 10, how to use ad hoc database queries. What are ad hoc database queries? This is actually a plugin that you can add to Moodle that allows you to interrogate the Moodle database just with read only queries. And this is incredibly useful if you're an administrator to be able to extract certain bits of data and information from the database in a fairly simple and straightforward manner, reasonably. So let's have a bit of a look. First of all, let's go and have a look at where we can get the plugin from. If we go to moodle.org slash plugins slash report custom SQL, you will see that there is a plugin called ad hoc database queries. Make sure you have the version that suits your version of Moodle. I'm running Moodle 3.6, so I'll download the Moodle 3.6 plugin. And we're going to install that plugin and have a look how we can use it. We go to Site Administration, Plugins and Install Plugins. We choose the plugin to install. Select Install Plugin from the zip file. Validation has been successful. We select Continue. And our plugin is now ready to use. To use the plugin, we go to Reports and look for Ad Hoc Database Queries. At the moment, there's no queries in there at all, so we're going to add a new query. Add a new query. What we can now do is create a query, and we're just going to create a test query here. And this one is some SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. Uh, all this does is find each of the users enrolled in each course. So we're just going to put here users in course. Scroll down to the bottom. We can verify the SQL text. If there are no errors, then we write to continue. Save changes. And there you can see our results are demo course 3. There is one person enrolled. In course test 2, there are two people enrolled. This report has two rows, and this is when it was last run. I can download the results as a CSV. Back to the list of queries. Let's create another database query called Courses Without Teachers. And we're going to paste in this query, which will go through the database using structured query language, and find out for us uh, which courses have how many teachers. Save changes. You can see here the results are the Ricochet main course. Demo course has no teachers. Test 2 has one. So this way we can find out which courses we need to make sure that we add teachers in because they are missing. The ad hoc database queries does require that you have some understanding of how SQL works. It is worth looking at Moodle and how the database is created, how all the tables work and how the tables are connected so that you can start to understand how you can use the database queries. My name is Chris Richter from Moodle at Ricochet. I hope this has been useful and I'll talk to you soon. If you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about, click on the link below this video. I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging, reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.